reckon it's fair to say I'm not a novice motorcyclist, but it sure as eggs I'm not a master either. In fact, I probably have no clue whatsoever how far away from motorcycling mastery I am. And I think that this is something that quite a few executives don't realize about their KPI or performance measurement mastery. Maybe it's because of their um, success in getting to that level of executive. Maybe it's because of the experiences that they've been limited to uh, or the other, other really organizations they've been exposed to. Many of them do believe they have KPI or performance measurement mastery and they're really not open to the idea of adopting or, or learning or even considering a better approach. There was some research uh, that was mentioned in an empty MIT Sloan management review article. Uh, and this research had been about asking executives, I think it was a sample size of over 3,000 executives, how they felt um, KPIs were used in their organization. And then from this data, the researchers uh, extrapolated some kind of KPI uh, index. Uh, well, I don't know. I, not, not exactly a mastery index, but something a little bit akin to that. And the problem I have with this is that the data is the executive's self-perceptions of their KPI maturity, and I just think that's fundamentally flawed. As far as motorcycling goes, most motorcyclists probably have a self-perception about how good they are. Largely that's going to depend on luck in their motorcycling career uh, and the kind of riding they do and their level of confidence. But there are some objective ways to know how good you are as a motorcyclist and one example is on the Moto Jitsu channel. Greg Widmar has created this white belt to black belt set of drills and, and tests if you like to help you work out how much skill and mastery you have on a motorcycle. I'm not sure if that's all that we need to help convince these mis misled uh, executives um, of, of you know, how, how much or how little KPI mastery they have. Is it just as simple as having some objective way to assess it so it's not based on their perceptions? Or are there other issues, do you think, in how to help our organization's leaders really appreciate what good performance measurement's about have an objective understanding of how far away they are from it and also have the willingness to, to do something about it. <laughs>